In this video I'm going to show you how to install TCP IP and uh, PRISM2 uh, drivers for your wireless uh, PC MCIA network card. Okay. I'm just going to show you briefly that uh, installation of driver is uh, very simplistic. I'm using actually the uh, PRISM2 V2 version. So it just copies the uh, network device and now it's going to ask for SSID and then password uh, you can go through this and then we're going to edit the file but because I already have it I'm just going to abort the install and next is the uh, TCP IP what we can do we can actually copy we can copy the folder or move it uh, where you want it after you decompress it and we can uh, do installation from there a uh, bunch of files will not be copied uh, it's just going to be left so let me show you that and then install TCP okay so because we're installing to the same folder uh, it's not going to copy the files okay so proceed uh, we're going to skip uh, installation of the uh, network devices because we don't have them uh, sample configurations that's fine it's just a text file uh, okay I already have that so I'm going to delete it uh, do you want to install fonts yes please Proceed. As wants us to change a password, uh, we have to go through that, but we're just going to delete it. Um, username, let's call it Amiga. Seed. Uh, the name we call it A600. Uh, domain name we can call it something.com. And then we're going to store it. I don't want to have any aliases, so we're just going to leave it blank. I'm going to choose a Prism 2 device. Uh, you need zero. And then let's uh, give an IP address. Uh, this one we're gonna leave it empty. Now's the mask. Okay. Uh, we don't want uh, any more devices, so we're just gonna leave it blank and we'll proceed. Now it's the default gateway. leave it blank okay now it's the name servers uh, you can get that from your Windows machine or uh, or Linux whichever you use That's the second one. Uh, I don't have a third one, so we're just going to leave it blank. Uh, do you want TCP IP to be started uh, during reboot? I don't want it because I'm not using it every day. Uh, would you like to change the user? Yes, startup script, yes. Do you want to INET D started? Yes. Okay, installation is complete.
Okay, I just exit that window. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to edit a few files. I just do type ed space a, and then I'm just using a open. So first we need to edit is our uh, user startup. On our user startup we're going to delete a uh, login configuration. Login line, align. let's see this one. This one we have to delete it. Okay. Uh, everything should be fine so we can save it the next file is our interfaces that's an important file we get that from uh, we already have a, a sign done so we can go AMI TCP and it's under a database and there's our interfaces and what we need to do, we need to comment out everything except uh, one line. So let me go to the bottom. Okay, so we just need to put pound here. Pound. Okay, and uh, this one. there you go the only one I'm gonna leave is the ether but what I'm changing I'm gonna change it to a uh, prism and then device uh, I'm gonna change this to a uh, slash and then device gonna call prism 2 Okay, and just for my notes, I can change this adapter to uh, wireless. This is not necessary, but it's good to know uh, I changed that. So now we can save it. Okay, next file we need to edit is our netdb my host. That's this file right here. And we need to delete the uh, domain. And we can save it. The next file we have to is the uh, edit is the startnet. Open. Startnet is, we have to go to AMI TCP and it's under bin binary. Scroll down, there is a startnet. Okay, in startnet we have to change two lines. Uh, this uh, localhost needs to be a loopback zero, so it's a LO slash zero, which is incorrect, it needs to be LO zero. And this we have to replace it basically with prism zero. Uh, let's delete. Uh, Prism 0 and everything should be correct. Let's file save. And the last one, what we need to do, we need to edit our uh, wireless preferences. I'm just going to show you how it looks for a uh, web uh, security. You can read the uh, doc files for the uh, wireless prism, uh, how to configure per uh, WPA or PSK, I think. But let me show you. It, the file is stored uh, under NVARC right here, and it's under sys. And it's wireless. So I'm going to show you my old. 
and basically I have to um, it's under documentation so um, I don't know what you're gonna be using but uh, for our web it should look like this basically SSID in quotation marks uh, let's call it uh, linksys and then you have a web key zero and this is your web key and the last one basically tells you to use the uh, web key zero okay so let me uh, exit that and uh, let's go reboot the computer make sure it boots uh, with no errors If you see any errors uh, during boot up from your user startup, uh, you have to troubleshoot it because it's not going to work if there's some kind of error. Still loading. Okay, looks like there are no errors. Okay, so let's go see if it's actually uh, working. So from shell, because I'm I'm not starting this from during my startup, so I'm just going to type start net and hopefully there's no errors. That's the command to start. Uh, in a proper state, attempt to config twice. Uh, that actually still might work. Okay, I think that works. Let's go see. Let's go check uh, ping. Uh, let's go ping. Okay, this is my loopback. Looks like it's working. Let's go ping uh, my IP address. Okay, I can ping myself. Let's go ping the gateway. Looks like I can ping the gateway. Cool. Let's go see if we can ping Google. Uh, that way we can check if our name servers are working. Okay, I can ping Google. Okay. Uh, just one more test. I have a web browser installed. Let's see if that actually is uh, working. there you go it's working fine looks ugly but it works okay so this was the demonstration of how to get a wireless working on the Amiga 600 and 1200 I uh, just want to tell you that my Amiga 600 has a ACA 630 accelerator in it which runs on 25 megahertz and I have uh, what 32 megabytes of RAM, so that's why I can uh, use it uh, very nicely. Actually, not too bad. But the same configuration should work for Amiga 1200. Okay, let me exit that. Yep. Uh, there's one more thing. Uh, if you want to uh, stop the networking, just to uh, command start uh, stop net. Okay, 
and that's it thank you for watching